Hi guys, this is Mikhail Pazdernik from Prague ICU, and today I will show you how to set up a multifiltrate CVVHD. First of all, let's get oriented in a multifiltrate machine. This machine has four pumps that are color coded blood pump, red, filtrate pump, yellow, dialysate pump, green, and substitute pump, which is white. We have four pressure transducers. Red color coded transducer port senses arterial pressure. White transducer port senses pre-filter, blue senses venous pressure, and yellow pressure transducer senses filtrate pressure. We have two warmers, dialysate warmer and substitute warmer. This machine has also some safety components. Air leak detector, an air bubble detector prevents the infusion of air to the patient. Below is a venous tube clamp, which has two major functions. Firstly, it's opening and closing during priming in order to de-air the circuit. Secondly, it closes in case of air presence in the circuit. Hence, no air bubbles come to the patient. Below the venous tube clamp is an optical detector that distinguishes between types of fluids, blood or transparent fluid. Blood leak detector warns about possible blood leakage to prevent loss of blood following rupture of semipermeable membrane. This component has been designed to cease operations when blood is detected in the dialysate. Multifiltrate has four scales. This scale is used for dialysate bags, the second one is used for substitute bags, and the last scales are used to collect filtrate that comes from the patient's body. On the left side, there is a heparin pump that might be used for regional anticoagulation. On the right side, you can find components for regional citrate anticoagulation. Citrate drop counter, citrate pump, citrate insertion switch, calcium drop counter, calcium pump and calcium insertion switch. On the right side of the screen, there are light indicators, on off button press for 3 seconds, start reset button, stop button, mute, escape key and selector and rotator. Start the multifiltrate machine by pressing the on button for 3 seconds. The machine begins to load. Then we just confirm the starting conditions are fulfilled. No solutions bank are on scales, no filtrate bags are on the scales, no tubing is inserted, no pressure transducers are conducted, no line in the optical detector and no line in the blood leak detector. Afterwards we choose citrate anticoagulation as in CVHD, we preferably use citrate anticoagulation. Then we press select new treatment and choose the type of therapy. CVHD is the most frequently used type of CRRT in ICU. Then we need to confirm that conditions are fulfilled. Concentration and volume of citrate, concentration and volume of calcium, and that used dialysate is without calcium. Then press confirm. Before unpacking the filter kit, we prepare a liter of bag of saline, sodium citrate solution, 1.5 liters, 4%, solution of 60 milliliters of calcium chloride in 250 milliliters of saline, all cal ratio, 100 mmol per liter. The dialysis filter bag is attached to the bottom of the machine. In this case, we will use a bag with 5 liters of Zika dialysate, potassium 2 mmol per liter and calcium 3. 
To make the bag ready for use, squeeze the bag in order to mix the solution of dialysate. Position the dialysate bag with the yellow tabs on the bottom of the scale. To install the kit, just follow the instructions on the screen. First, open the doors of the blood pump, filtrate pump, dialysate pump, dialysate warmer, air detector, optical detector and blood leak detector. This is how the CVHD kit looks like. Red tubing is for the blood pump, yellow tubing for filtrate pump. It also has two chambers, venous chamber and arterial chamber. Insert the venous bubble catcher into the air detector. Place the venous blood return line into the line clamp and the optical detector. Then close the optical detector. Slide the arterial red and filtrate pump segment adapter yellow fully into the blood and filtrate pump holders. Use the start reset and they will automatically load. Then we will close the door. Connect the four pressure transducers that are color coded. Venus pressure port blue to blue before the filter pressure port white to white arterial pressure port red to red and filtrate pressure port yellow to yellow mount the ultrafax filter in its holder we will use the ultrafax AV1000S Connect the arterial, venous and filtrate connectors to the filter. Red arterial end goes to the bottom of the filter. Blue venous end to the top. Make sure it is screwed tightly. Yellow filtrate connectors goes to the bottom of the filter. Hang on the empty collection bag next to the saline bag on the IV pole and connect it to the blue venous patient line. To connect the patient arterial line to the saline bag, we need a spy connector with a three-way tap. Leave both venous lines blue and red clamped. Insert the filtrate outlet into the blood leak detector. Connect the yellow filtrate port to the dialysis filter bag. Now we will move on and prepare the SICA part of the circuit. First of all, slide the white calcium clamp up to the calcium connection and close it. Attach the spike connector present in the kit and connect the calcium port to the calcium bag. Similarly, slide the green clamp up to the citrate connection and close it. Connect the citrate port to the citrate bag. Finally, install the calcium drip chamber into the drop counter 
and insert the calcium line pump segments. Slide the pump segments adapters fully into the groove until you hear them engaging and until the pump segments are installed automatically. In the same fashion, continue with the citrate line pump segments. Now we proceed to a detailed Dalizé tubing arrangement. This is a Dalizé tubing which is also color coded and is green. Open the Dalizé pump door and slide the pump segment adapter, green color, into the groove. Press and hold the start button and it will load automatically. Then close the door. Place the heater bag into the Dalizade heater and close the door. Connect the outlet line into the inlet port of the Ultrafax filter. Finally, connect the inline line to the Dalizé solution. Keep the tubing clamped yet. We proceed to the next step on the home screen. This is just a confirmation what has been done so far. Then we press continue and we are navigated to break the Cica cones. We need to open Cica clamps and check the fill level of the drip chambers. Citrate and calcium are now visible in lines. We just confirm that lines are free from air. Before priming, we need to check that the clamps are open and all the cones are broken. Break the cone of a dalizate and open the clamp. Unclamp also the blue and red patient lines to the filter. Check that all unnecessary clamps are clamped. Press OK to start priming. Now the multifiltrate CRT is being primed. Raise the bubble chamber level to the ridge by pressing and holding the arrow up on the screen. Fill the arterial chamber 3 4 full and clamp.
Finally, we need to perform UF rinse. We disconnect the venous line from the collecting bag and connect the blue port to the saline bag. Then we reverse the Ultrafax filter and press the button to start the UF rinse and press OK. In about 6 minutes, put it back to normal position and you are ready to connect the CRT to the patient. Thank you for watching Prague ICU and stay tuned for more interesting educational videos.